I'm Richard Sharp, and I'm uh, the director of the Biomedical Ethics Program here at Mayo Clinic. The Biomedical Ethics Program here is a new program. Mayo Clinic's had a variety of different ethics-related activities that we've supported in the past, but we've never had a consolidated program, and this will be the first time that Mayo Clinic has such a program. Uh, in the past, there have been a variety of people here at Mayo who have helped with different educational activities, who've taught doctors, helped patients to work through difficult ethical issues in their life, but we haven't had uh, coordination across a variety of programs. And one of the things that I'll be doing over the next few years is working with our, our consultant staff and others here at Mayo Clinic to help to bring some organization, bring some consistency, and uh, expand upon a variety of different things that we've been doing. And one of the things that I'm most excited about is the opportunity to leverage some of the things that we're already doing uh, in the service of creating something new. And I, and I hope something special that represents uh, a new vision for where bioethics might be headed in the future. One of the groups that uh, our, our unit will help to support are the clinical researchers here at Mayo Clinic. And in an organization like Mayo Clinic where you're doing a lot of leading edge types of research, research related to stem cells, human, human embryonic stem cells, research related to the manipulation of the human brain uh, involving the implantation of uh, neuromodulation devices and so forth. There are all sorts of really, really difficult ethical issues that are raised. You know, how much is too much in terms of seeking to manipulate and control our thought processes uh, would be a great example of the sorts of ethical challenge that many of the researchers who are engaged in those areas uh, struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. So one of the things that our group will do is that we'll, we'll support those individuals in thinking through some of those challenging questions. We'll do the type of scholarship that's necessary in order to inform that work. We're going to go to patients. We're going to work directly with patients to see what, it, what it's like for them at a personal level to go through some of those therapies and some of those treatments and how the delivery of those treatments might be made uh, a little less burdensome for those individual patients who, who volunteer to be research subjects.